Hey, it's Jim Parr here, and we're gonna talk about the common mistakes that a DIYer makes when they're wiring these. And you might be surprised, but some of these mistakes can be fatal or definitely harm your home. So before we get going, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. And uh, this channel is all about building a house on your own, on a budget. Talk about mistake number one. So this is pretty common and maybe a lot of you know this, but maybe you don't. So there's gold on one side and there's silver on the other side. So remember this, that the hot wires always go on the gold side. So black is hot. And the way I remember the silver side is white is, or silver is white or light is what I call it. The lighter color is white. So just remember that because some people wire these backwards and I've seen it common over and over and over and it's always a DIYer. And they'll try to put a black on this side. Sometimes that outlet will work but just remember this, that outlet's very dangerous and can be fatal to somebody. The other thing is, on this side, you have your copper, which is your ground wire. So your copper is always in the green, and sometimes, most of the time, you're gonna have a bare copper wire or pigtail to multiple wires inside the outlet. Okay, mistake number two. Yes, there is little stabs on the back of this wire or on the back of this outlet here. So you can trim off about five eighths inch uh, insulation off your wire and stab these in. But let me just tell you that you do not want to use these. These are uh, they're failure points. And usually when I go out to a project and there's a failure in their electric or a failure in an outlet, it's typically these stab points. So they, they put the wire in and it's loosened up. And so let's just do not use those. You're gonna use these little side loops. And uh, so that'll lead us into mistake number three. So when stripping insulation, remember this. There's, first of all, there's gauge wires on the, the actual tool itself. And so this is 14 gauge wire, so it's gonna go in the 14 area, and you're just gonna strip it. A lot of people don't know this, but this little hole here is to make your perfect loop, and this is just a hack, you can see this on my other uh, videos, but it's just uh, a loop to make that perfect loop. So that made your perfect loop, so we're not gonna have uh, and we're going to lead into mistake three here, having too much insulation. So if the insulation is stripped past here, you have a good chance of this bare wire, if it's stripped too much, uh, connecting with a ground wire and shorting that circuit out. So that can be a problem. So if you remember, you can see this, that's a perfect loop. It's covering inside the uh, screw area here. So if you just remember this, whenever you're using your wire strippers, use this tool here to get your perfect loop. You can also make a loop with your outlet here by just turning this over and making a loop like that. So that's another way to get a loop and this is just your ground wire. Now your ground wire doesn't matter if it's bare, but you don't want it touching neutral or a black hot. Just remember that. Another common mistake here is under stripping. So we're gonna talk about that. But in here you can see that the insulation here is underneath the screw. So you've got more insulation than actual copper showing there. And what can happen is you can have a short in there or just not a good connection. Or as this insulation may deteriorate, you can get a loose connection in there. 
So one thing to remember is that when you're stripping wire, it's very easy. There's an actual gauge on the back of these uh, wire uh, on all your outlets here. So if you see this little slide here, this is the amount of insulation that you should be taking off. It's on literally every single outlet. Here's one, it's a little bit different, but as you can see there, that tells me how much insulation needs to be removed to properly be there. So uh, another common mistake is putting these on backwards. So you tighten it down and what happens is it'll push the uh, it'll push the copper out of here. And so remember this that when you're putting wire on with the side, you always want to put the wire on in a clockwise position. So your wire should always go like this. Same with this side, you want them in a clockwise position. So the other mistake that people make is they'll use a Phillips screwdriver and you could use either one on here and this is just a little mistake, but sometimes you can see as you tighten this, the Phillips wants to pop off, but with a flat head, you're not gonna have that. You can really snug those up tight and not worry about those coming loose. Mistake that we see a lot of electricians will do uh, and DIYers, I mean, good electricians will never do this, but so they'll want to, they're adding a, an additional circuit somewhere and they'll want to add a wire and it's really difficult to do to be honest but they'll stack these wires and then they'll put two wires here and then they'll stack it and tighten it down but what happens over time and can happen these wires can loosen up because they're never these screws are never to have more than one wire underneath them and so what happens if these give way, if one gives way, they both can give way. And then you have a hot wire inside your box, which can be uh, very dangerous. But not only that, it could cause an electrical fire if it starts arcing in that box. So one thing to be real cautious about, if you're going to do that, you want to pigtail these together and have one wire on there, one single wire on here. This is a simple one. This is a 15 amp outlet. There's 20 and 15 amp. I mean, they go up to 30 amp, you know, 220 for a, a refrigerator or dryer. Just remember this, it's stamped on here 15 amp. So if you have a 20 amp breaker, you do not want to have a single outlet on their on that circuit rule of thumb is if you have a, a 20 amp circuit you want to use 12 2 wires so it's not going to be this white Romex but it's going to be the yellow Romex and you want to have a 20 amp circuit with 20 amp outlets so they're different um, not only that the requirements now is that they're tampered resistant. So this is not a tamper resistant outlet. This is an older one or a cheaper one, but they need to be tamper resistant. So uh, whenever uh, there's one exception for a 15 amp outlet on a 20 amp circuit, and it's if you have multiple outlets or duplexed outlets on that circuit. So, um, those are some of the common mistakes. And so if you like this video, hit that like button. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I'm trying to get up to 10,000 subscribers. So that'd be great if you hit that subscribe button. It just helps my uh, algorithms. And leave a comment below uh, if you're a DIYer and you have questions about your own wiring of your own house. 
And also we have a video up above that you can check out and it's on how to wire a bedroom.